Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve this uh, inequality as well as graph the solution. So basically, again, what we're going to do is, is work on solving this just like we have an equation, but then we're just going to graph the solution. So when I'm looking into solving an inequality, when I have a variable on both sides, I, the first thing I want to do is get the variable to the same side. So to do that, I can see I have a 2x and I have a negative x. And usually I always like to get the variables so they're positive. So I'm going to add an x onto both sides. And by doing that, I now have 2x plus x, which is 3x, minus 6 is greater than 3. Now to go ahead and solve, um, now to go ahead and solve for my variable, I'm simply just going to add 6 on both sides. So now I have 3x is greater than 9. Now to solve for x, I divide by 3, divide by 3, and I have x is greater than 3. So now I need to go ahead and graph the solution. Um, so to graph the solution, what I basically I want to make sure I have is a number line that's going to include my solution of 3. So let's say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1. OK, so I like to put a nice big dot at 3. And then the basic the way to kind of understand, you know, if you kind of forget that this says greater than, you can always just test you know, the points. And I always like to always test exactly our point, so 3 greater than 3. Let's do um, 5 greater than 3 and 0 greater than 3. So we look at this, and remember like the little uh, alligator always eats the larger number, right? So is 3 greater than 3? Well, no, 3 is not greater than 3. 3 is equal to 3, so that is false. And since it's false, 3 is not going to be a part of the solution. Now, it's still where we're going to start, because you could have like um, you know, 3.1 or 3.0001. Right? So it's still going to be a circle here. It's just the value of 3 is not going to be a part of our solution. Um, is 0 greater than 3? No, 0 is less than 3. So that's false. And is 5 greater than 3? Yes, that's true. So basically, from our starting point of 3, I'm always going to shade to where it's true and away from where it's false. So my graph will look like that. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a multi-step and graph a multi-step inequality. Thanks.